Right, good morning from sunny SA. Not gonna waste too much time before we get into this video, but I just wanna say, this is one of my favorite vlogs that I've filmed, and I think you're gonna enjoy this probably the most. This is 18 holes with James Dupree, longest professional golfer in the world, right up there with Bryson. Now this one's slightly longer than normal, just over 30 minutes. So this is one where you can just sit back, relax, and watch, because he hit some like ridiculous, ridiculous shots in this video. Like the distances are just crazy. I do want to add though, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button because I'm meeting up with Steve Surrey today. We're going to film some stuff. Then I've got European tour uh, footage with him. So I'm carrying his bag for three weeks. I'm also meeting James on Saturday for a full day of training. Uh, so that's going to be like everything that goes into hitting bombs. And then after that, it is the road to Sunshine Q School. So lots of cool stuff coming up. Just want to shout out guys that have provided me with some decent golf balls out here. Pearl Grey Golf, not refurbished. Pretty much brand new, just found. Link in the description, really good deals. Perfect for this time of year. Enjoy the video, give it a like. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we have a match against the, uh, I'm just going to call you the longest golf pro in the world because you're up there with Bryson at the moment, aren't you? Yeah. I would say. You, you guys are pretty much on par. You're definitely the tallest, so let's just go with that. <laughs> if they complain, I'm on about vertically. We're playing Serengeti, which as you can see, so far, looks pretty sick. This is a long golf course, right? Yeah. You found it? No, I didn't. I should have said yes though. And we're playing with this man, so if you've seen a video I did last year when I was over here caddying for Steve. This is the guy on the range. And that video's done pretty well. It's done like a couple hundred thousand views. So today we're going to play me against James. And I might be uh, a couple up already. A couple already. up after the first hole. <laughs> yeah, so James' top end is sort of like 145, I think is his max. I think you could probably top out about like what low 140s at the moment. He's just come back from America after playing quite a bit of golf, but we'll talk to him about that. Um, and we've obviously got the co-sanctioned European Tour events coming up, so it'll be interesting to see how he's playing. Just 3-3-5 three, three, to here, yeah? Yeah, 3-3-5, three, three, but I don't know if the camera's got a lens big enough to see <laughs> all the way down there. What's the hole? Four? I think it was about 4.30 okay. to the front. So just a nice 400 for you to get started, yeah? <laughs> Fuck's sake. What's going on, mate? Why are you changing everything? Huh? You like got ants in your pants about this shot. The nerve's getting to you. I'm not great with the wedge, mate. What have you got about? 85? 85. Alright, days are right. <laughs> Thing is, I left my 60 at home as well because I was chipping in Barney's uh, in the BBG Valley. Oh, yeah? Here we got James with about 85 to the pin. Just claimed he's not very good with the wedge, but let's see what he's got. Not the best start, leaving me with a bit of hope after my OB ball. I've got a different type of grass today, so usually it's the Kikui. Is that the pronunciation? Kikui or Kikuya? Because I say Kikuya, everyone's like, what the fuck are you on about? Look, I don't know. I don't even know what language it's in, but I think Kikuyu is how you pronounce it. Okay. But, um, but yeah, it's a little different. So, this I think is a type of rye grass that stays like evergreen throughout the year, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty good because the condition of this course right throughout the year is really, really good. But with pitching, it's really different. You've got to be able to use the bounce a lot more because it's a lot softer than Kikuyu that provides like a nice firm base to clip it off of. Yeah. So that sounds, it sounds like we're going to have some fun with my wedge play today, basically. 41. It looks like you're playing onto a down slope. So need a nice little nippy wedge in it. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. So James has left that 80 yard wedge shot. What's that, JMO? Like 30 meters short? And the boy's got about five yards of fairway to work with. But he's gone with a Texas wedge because he's terrified of the whiskey flip. So let's see what he's got here. Pins all the way over here. Let's see what JMO's got. Ooh. 
Ooh. Started with the OB drive and I might just walk away with a half here. Yeah? So James got about 15 foot for par to guarantee himself a win on the first hole. What's been the running at mate, about 10? Uh, I'd say about 10. I think they were a bit quicker but they dusted them this morning. Oh, unbelievable. Hey, I may be dodgy with the chipper. Give me a putter, different story. Flat stick money. Playing stroke play. We're playing stroke play, mate. Full on stroke play. And no gives. No gives. Yeah, mate, there's a lot of YouTubers that have YouTube rules, but I don't. What are the YouTube rules? YouTube rules are if you don't OB, if make it, you're having a mulligan really? and you're not looking like a t Okay. Yeah, but the start of the video is going to be me looking like a t looking over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, solid. Nice up and down. Must say, pretty pleased with that. One up after the first. I think I needed that little buffer because I'm not getting any shots today. Just drivable for four coming up now as well. Drivable for you, yeah? Uh, you should be able to get that actually. Okay. Yeah. You're knocking through with on the nose. Yeah. Right, so we've got two bunkers up there. These uh, big bunkers just short of the green. They're about 280 meters, which we're playing as yards. If you haven't seen the videos yet, basically yards are flying as far as meters up here, just because of the elevation. Meters are flying as far as yards. So this middle bunker that you can see here, this massive one, mm -hmm. the right edge of that, there's two trees behind it. And if you finish between that and the flag, anywhere in there should leave you just a flick up to the green. Just a little, uh, another one of those delicate wedges, you mean? Yeah, the ones that you really like. Yeah, that's the line. Good job. That's got to get down. Yeah, it's actually all right. So pulled your drive a little bit, but you got what? About 65-ish? 75. 75, that's again your favorite number. Again, Especially yeah. with a bunker. Let's see if I can get this for you. A bunker just before the pin. The flag's a little short-sighted here. Yeah. Let's see if the hands of Mr. Wilcher can handle this. It's quite firm, firm isn't it? Well? Yeah, you can give it a good tap. I need my 60, but it's in the BGG Valley, so we're going to open up a 56. Let's see what you got. Sit. Stop. Oh, James. Fuck. What are you saying, mate? That is not bad. All right, so James has got his 62 degree wedge. I'm in here pretty tight. He's not too happy about it. Pressure's on him now. Can't lose to the YouTuber today. Oh, that is nippy. Yeah, very nice, mate. Very good. See, that's what I need. You can do it long, but still got a bit of touch around the green, you know? I'm reading it probably a touch off the left. Probably gonna look at about going center left there. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, solid. Okay, James after superb wedge shot. Yeah. He's got a couple feet for birdie, but I'm definitely not giving this to him. Sounds like a scared man. This might be a centimeter from right of center, basically. Oh, 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 oh sounds like a scared man. <laughs> Just a man that knows what he's doing. <laughs> but James, I'll give you that one, mate. You yeah, I think that's fine to lose the hole. So if it's not the wedge play, it's the putting, or what's the story? Just a mystery, mate. How to hit the second shot first, a book by James Walcher. This hole that we're playing now, number three, is 6.45 meters to the back. And we're just gonna get a, we're just gonna get a yardage. <laughs> 693 yards okay, to the middle, let's zoom in on that. 708 yards to the back. All right, so 708 yards to the back of the green, 693 to the middle. This is the probably the longest hole I've played, to be fair. So if you see far down there, the row of houses, yeah. the black house far on the left, you can bang it on there, but you've got space between that and this bunker on the right edge of the fairway. Okay. So it's a massive down driving line. hole, which I think is a pretty good design with the hole being so long. So especially downwind, you can absolutely send it. Through. What do you think you would have going in here if you absolutely caught one off the tee? A bit six on yeah. So that's fine out there? Yeah, it's a tad right, but that one was hit. Got 
a stay in the air, mate. Chloe. Chloe Gotta stay in the air. Literally, we're so far off the road. Alright, so this went 305, it's a bit of a toey dipper. And I've never hit a drive 300 and had 300 left, mate. Yeah, and uh, we're talking meters here. I'll give you a pin number. I don't know if my rangefinder can go this far. 307. 37. That's a perfect three wood. You reckon? Downwind, mate. Okay. 100%. If you're going to bail, you can bail right. Like there's a ton of space on the right, but I reckon just absolutely send it. I don't know if you guys can wow. see, but James has absolutely teed this one up <laughs> for 307 meter, 340 yard launch. Well, it's just 14.5. It's the big tall, way, um, big tall wood and it just goes flat, so. Let's see it. There we go. Bit of Bryson swinging before this three wood. Ooh, it's gonna be close to getting in the water, to be fair. No? It landed on the... Yeah, it's just over the corner of the green, or corner of the water, it's just short of the green. I actually think it should be okay. This pitch marks at 360, 360 meters, yeah. which isn't a bad little hit, I guess. You must love this place. This is why you brought me in it. Look, look at yeah. the room that you, you could just bomb it. <laughs> 400 yards and have 100 yards each side. So what have you got in? Uh, I got about 258. 258 meters. You mean uh, four iron? Five iron. Five iron? Yeah. Okay. Hoping for a bit of a jumper. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Let's see. <laughs> Strike. That's easily there. That's great. Is that up? Easy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man. Yeah. Watch over five hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> James's three wood unfortunately came up a tad short in the drink, bounced on the hill and trickled back. He um, is taking a drop. He's got about a 25 yard shot I'd say uh, over the bunker. About seven or eight yards between the bunker and the edge of the green, coming in downwind. And my five iron's finished here, about 25 feet away from Eagle, so Jamer's gonna have to up and down this. Oof, he's gone a bit long, but it's understandable with the downwind, so he's got his work cut out for him. All right, so Jamer's gone a bit long here. A delicate shot, but the wind's in his favor, straight into his face. Oh, bit of a soft bounce. Yeah, got a bit sticky in the, fr in the fringe, but man's got a putt here for a six, I believe. All right, after a five iron that went 262 yards, meters, meters. I didn't think you'd hear that from there. So after a five iron that went all of 262 meters, yeah, almost robbed you of 30 meters there. <laughs> um, and a 700 yard hole to the back of the green. Drive a five iron. Oh, he's not going to free pie it though, is he? That'd be a lot of abuse, drive for show, putt for dough, mate. Yeah, yeah, I should move a touch off your right, our left. Mate, that could be a big putt. That could be a big putt. How was it over there? Was it Good bad, mate. This hole is about 430 meters. Um, if you clear this middle bunker, the fairway is right over that. It is a lot narrower than the previous hole, but still does offer some room to bail out to the right. But the perfect line would be, I don't know if you can see on the camera that cell phone tower in the background. Yeah, yeah. Just right of that, a couple yards right of that would be perfect. Ah, get down. Sit down. Good. Good, it should be okay. And it's got a, possibly got a cart path as well. Oh, that's a beauty. Shot, Jen. No, it's going to be a little fairway. Just trying to see if mine's, if I've got less distance into the hole. I'm not sure. No. Back there, mate. It's pretty much level with you where you are now. <laughs> 103. Yeah. 
So what have you got below your 62 then? I've got 58 and a 54. So I've got five wedges, including the pitching wedge. I guess when you're hitting wedges all the time, it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, so right? I've got my three in the bag, but I really don't carry it. So for tournaments, I'll take that out. Um, but if the course I'm playing has a drivable par three or par four that's too short for driver, then I'll take the four iron out. Mm -hmm. I've, take the four iron out? Yeah, it's, I, we, I never really have shots of... So stock four is about two, four, 255. And that's not really a scoring area. So if you have that distance, like hitting a five iron, ten shorter, that's not a problem. Strike. Yeah, good shot that. Mate, that's why England can't beat South Africa at rugby because James just told me a story where he was cutting for Steve Surrey at Leopard Creek and the heat was so bad that on the third tee box he went down and, and was stationary for about half an hour. These um, pale boys. I've got 92 yards, I think that might be less than what you had there. 92 yards? Meters. Meters, oh, you got me. So if you don't get this closer, then all this chat's for nothing. Sounded pretty good. Oh, tad long. Oh, that's going to come back. It's a bit of spin control. Should be moving a good couple inches from right to left, but I'm not sure if the wind's going to hold it. Quite a bit of wind today, guys. Blowing at least about 30 kilometers. Looks good. Oh, pause it in. That's three on the trot, mate. It's done. I need to hold this. Gemma actually hit a stellar shot in here to about seven feet. But after I just made a 25 footer, he's got a bit of pressure here to just stay in touch. It's a slightly different angle, so this might move a tiny bit to the left or it might be pretty straight. Yeah, if it's going to move anything, I think it should move a touch to the left. Yeah, going to give it sort of like just right of centre. Yeah, I think that should be good. Oh, day, son. Come on. Staying in touch, yeah? Boxes are probably running quicker than most of the greens at home at the moment. So these used to be holes that you could putt on. Yeah? Yeah, on all the par threes they have holes where you, when they first open, the greens are running, the tees are running at like nine. I'm sure Steve told me about this last year actually, yeah, this must be the place, yeah. So what's the number? 180. But I think I've got too much cut there. 180 and it's uh, sort of like down off the right. Down off the right or crossing off the right, so it depends what shape you hit. So we're going to hit nine? nine no, we're going to hold an eight. Hold an eight. That's pretty pure. Yeah, sort of rode it, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, so again, we've got 180 meters, about 198 yards. Wind is crossing off the right. So James is going to hold a little seven in here. Go with your idea, yeah. I think you can actually start on my ball and cut it. Because the wind, yeah, the wind will bring it back. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, that is a golf shot, mate. Pretty crispy. All right, James got pretty long putt down the green. This is probably going to snake all over the place. Most of these greens have quite a lot going on on them, um, and quite a lot of subtle breaks in the uh, flat section. So, look at this snake. Not enough to get over the hill, mate. Sam's just taking a bit of the steam out of these greens. James did a beautiful seven iron to about 10 foot from just under 200 yards. I've left my first putt about eight foot short, so if he holds us, it could be a bit of a swing here. Yeah, I think this is going to move early, but it should straighten up a bit. So yeah. I'm going to go like a cup left. Let's hope we don't take the early break too much. Been a couple inches outside left. All right. Oh. Just took the early. What's the read from here then? Bit of a weird putt because this whole putt, like there's a big mound here, but it might look like it actually wants to go the other way at the end. Yep, I'm seeing that. Oh wow. Actually just moved a little bit to the left. Okay. Oh, one shot back for you, Wiltshire. Right, right, so we've had a bit of a, a bit of an ease in yeah. with some downwind holes, essentially. So now we're switching and going into the wind on some of these long ones this looks like a pretty yeah it's a good old six holes about 440 meters um it's lined by water all the way down the right 
fairway moves a little left to right around the water and the breeze is straight in so it's gonna be a pretty good hole today somehow yeah what is it to carry that trap on the right you know uh i can have a look now uh, it's not that long it's about 245 to clear that trap but we want to be going kind of just left edge of it at the uh, chimney of that house okay got it <laughs> on there when it's into wind and you tee it down a bit yeah are you just trying to squeeze the low one out there um it does come out a lot lower the angle of attack is probably still one or two up mm -hmm. um but this driver that thing i've built me like it just comes out unbelievably low they've put glue in the face of the ball just launches unbelievably just low and flat yeah i lose a, a bit of distance with it but i know exactly what it's going to come out yeah. of that low cut's really consistent so yeah, safe. it helps to have something that you know exactly the margins that you can hit it with well, two good drives here this is um that's pretty much as well as i can hit it and um i don't know we'll call that 40 yards behind <laughs> into wind well, 149 pretty they've much. kind of been generous with the pin today if you guys can see it so the water shouldn't be coming into play with a second although it's straight into the breeze so yeah i think it should be good if you come up attached short of that flag it's not a problem okay. a in there, then. yeah kind of similar shot to what you just hit on the previous Oh, that is gorgeous. Sit down. That's carried the green. Shapers. That's carried the bank. You bet the wind just like... Just died on you. Just sat. But that was a gorgeous shot Straight though. That was as good as I can hit that. The wind is picking up a bit now, again. Yeah. So, what's the number? Well, 124. Um, I can understand why you hit it over the green because 124 standing over it, you want to play it like 145. You do, yeah. Because um, 124 stock gap, which goes by 140, but I feel like it's just going to climb the wind a little bit. So I'm going to have to do a super, super soft wedge. Yeah. Kind of like cutting it up. I like that. That's pure, man. Go on then, get tight. Oh, that is money. It's got the 56, it's going to open the face and try and land it right in around there and hopefully scoot it onto the green. I think it just landed a little bit too far short, but it was a really tough shot. So after the shot that James just picked up on the previous part 3, where I had a horrendous 3 putt, he's at jeopardy of throwing that shot right away with this about 18 feet for par yeah it's been pretty good with this putting today but this one's a bit outside the comfort zone here for jmo take it take it oh that was on the road mate just left it a couple roll short actually having difficulty picking this one because the hole's lying a bit on this tabletop uh, but I don't see too much. I'm just wondering if the wind's going to affect this part. But I think pretty straight should be a good call. Oh. That's gone like two cups. Yeah, I never saw that. Lucky. It's about 470 meters here. It's about 510 yard par four. Uh, the second shot will play a little bit downhill, but it's relatively straight. If you can finish over this middle trap, uh, it should be pretty good and get a bit of extra roll with the downhill. So. That's the plan, let's see if we can do it. Soft. That's a beauty. Just get off the toe, but... We'll take that. You can still see, even with that toe, how much that cut on the wind. Yeah. Bolt. Very good. You're gonna find it over there, mate. You gonna find it? I'm afraid of the snakes, bro. <laughs> yeah, we Gucci. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> One three six. And I'm gonna take it at those workers behind the green. I've got a 50, which is about a 130 number. So it should be about right. We might have a bit of a bit of help. 
a little bit right. It's okay, mate. It's actually a really good place to be. We got 126. This is a wrist brake territory. Sure, you can manage, mate. What are you weighing? Kilos? <laughs> um, I think I'm at about 117, 118 at okay. the minute. James has got to put up the hill. Actually did really well from where he was. That lie was uh, pretty smelly. Looks like he's just got enough room to miss. Sort of like the collar of the green. So it's just going to fall off that collar and then... Slowly fall to the right. Oh my days. Oof. He's hammered it. James busy doing sign language there. So where you got this one going? So this is like a two, roughly, mostly. So probably just over a foot outside the right edge. Having played here a couple of times before, I think that's actually a pretty good read. Through a break, straight. Yeah, just too much pace. Big moment in the game. Two par putts. Not looking like much, is it, from here? I don't think it's doing much. Maybe the wind's going to affect it a touch. Possibly. Right to but I think it's pretty straight, to be fair. Did that go left. <laughs> Okay, so I just knocked that in. Uh, we didn't capture that one, but yeah, that's on me. I've knocked it in for par. Anyway, par five now. Yeah, we're 545 meters, um, lined with water all along the right. Island green. Island green. Island green. So that bunk is at it. about 275 into the wind, which is definitely in play today. Can't fly that, so we're gonna have to squeeze it between the edge of the edge of the water and the start of the bunker to have any chance of going for it in two. Yeah, there's the green down there through the chute. Cool. A little toey, so that actually should be short of that bunker. Yeah, mate, that's fine. It's tight. Being a bit of a scout here, he's got 225 in the rough to an island green, and he's thinking of laying up over this bunker to the left over there but I've just told him to send it for the channel but I think the man's afraid of losing a ball it's 230 meters 230 meters into the breeze, into the breeze with a rough mate it's with those tattered up. arms you surely should have that in the arsenal look the percentage play is a layup okay let us know in the comments what you guys think of this decision by James May started playing like a Deki Matsuyama with one hand on the club. 207. Into the breeze. Um, out the rough. So, so you, you're obviously going for this. I mean, you gotta. Sometimes you, you just gotta, gotta sack up, you know? This is pretty much like the 17th foot August, uh, 17th foot Sawgrass. Sawgrass, yeah. It's about the same. But they're hitting it in there from 130, not, you know, 230 yards. Strike, it's drifting up on the wind a bit. Should be in the trap. That's a 230 meter club from 205. Ah! All right, we're in the drop zone. Yeah. 121. For guys at home, if you can't feel the wind, it's blowing, I don't know, it's a good 30. Yeah, well, interface. I had 205 and I had six, which is a stock 227 club. And that was, Maybe 30 yards short of the flag, yeah, so... and it started low as well. Yeah, so the wind's pumping. Strike. Great shot. Might save bogey. <laughs> I'm just taking the route of laying up, which now looks smart because I went for it and smoked it in the lake. 106, there we go. Playing probably... I'd say close to 126, mate, at least. 50, I'm gonna go straight at it and just or at your ball play like a one okay. shot. There's a tight pin in the clover of the green over that bunker, so Let's see if the man's got the stones. The John stones. Ooh, a little chunky, but actually looks pretty good. Great shot, mate. What a green to hit at into winds, playing a five, well, pretty much like close to 600 yard hole there. Into the wind, into I'd wind. I mean, yeah. Jesus. This is for bogey. And this thing is downhill 
with a bit of a snake. Wow. Too much pace. Wow. Yeah, take that way. It's a big turn in the game coming here. Seven feet for Birdie. He's actually played this hole pretty well. Just outside left edge. Oh, that is a three shot swing, ladies and gentlemen. And Mr. Walsher is two up. This thing is an absolute beast. The wind's now picking up properly strong. Probably gusting near 40 now. And this is... 200 playing 194. But I'd say it's playing close to 230 meters. Yeah, 230. Wind. This is when gonna the be... When start walking and not flying, you know it's busy pumping. <laughs> um, James is just throwing sh around. Getting aggressive because he's two up. Oh, is it an absolute laser? Any good, mate? It's all right. It's arguably a groove low. <laughs> Bit of leading edge on that one. That's fine. So five iron. Yeah. That is the complete opposite trajectory. Rip though. really long is that long There's no way that's long is it well because the flight that it had I was flighted like <laughs> a f wedge that five iron that was a moon ball into wind is that's gone like 230 but just and for now, your kids at home if you ever want to play this hole this is not where you want to hit it down slope downwind more down slope not the best of lies no It's actually a great shot from there. What would you say, about 45 feet? Yeah. 45 feet just coming off the back fringe there. He's actually had a really good shot. Yeah, they recently dusted the sand, oh, the greens this morning. Um, I don't know if you guys can see on the film, but there's definitely sand. And that's why the speed of our putting has been so inconsistent today, because some of the greens have a lot of sand and some really don't have that much. Looks like the pace is pretty good. Yeah, it's a good putt, mate. So we got about 10 foot for par. I thought that was gonna go slightly to the right at the end. Yeah, that's what I saw as well. It snaked back. But that's limping home. Bogey, double bogey, <coughs> bogey to finish the nine and leave the ready door open for Ready for some there. grub, a coffee, and then to come <laughs> out firing. When the boys do an aim point on a two foot putt, those, don't it? I'm gonna put the flag. No way. This is what I like to do. So, if I've got a putt that I'm not sure about, I'll get the flag in and just ram it home. And I'll just cram it against it. Yeah. Well, I hope the flag spits it out. To be fair, they're quite thick. Thick with five C's. <gasps> oh my God, that's moved so much. <sighs> you. That was moving a ton, mate. You see that move. That's not a left edge puncture. Yeah, at least left edge. But that's some treats, mate. Only giving me two shots back after my finish on that nine. Absolute treats. Right, bat nine's coming up soon.